Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach, and this is kind of a fun new thing that we're going to start doing. Um, I have decided to call it Just Ask Jessica because that's what you guys are doing. This is for you to ask me questions and for me to give you answers. So Just Ask Jessica sounded like a good idea. So hey guys, I'm so glad you're here with me and in this new format, what we're going to be doing is answering your questions. So um, this is kind of a new thing. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear me, but if you can, please type in the comment box if you can hear me. Um, I'd really appreciate it. So I know that this thing is working. Um, so guys, I'm here and um, my name is Jessica. If you don't know me, I am a force-free dog trainer and I have not always, great, I'm getting some comments that you guys can hear me. Awesome. So I've not always been a dog trainer my whole life, obviously. <laughs> um, and the beginning of my adult life, I spent most of my time with cats. So it's just been the last about decade that I have really been interested in learning about dogs. I have been learning about dogs and I'm here to give you all of that great information because you and your dog are a team. So um, what we're going to talk about today is crate placement. Um, a lot of people get dogs and they decide to go ahead and crate train them and um, they put the crate in the wrong area of the house. And I know that might sound a little strange to you guys, but I'm going to explain. So that's what we're going to talk about today is crate placement when you're crate training your dog. So uh, if any of you are crate training your dog or have a dog that is crate trained, go ahead and post that in the comments so I can get an idea of uh, what you're already doing and how many of you are interested in crate training and learning about how to crate train your dog. It's a really important thing to do actually with your dog. So, um, oh, and before I forget, uh, brand new to you guys, go ahead and Type in, if, if somebody can type this in for me, I can't, I'm, I'm on my phone, I'm using my phone, so I can't really type this in. Um, brand new ebook for you guys to get seven miracle steps to um, training your dog. So if you could type this in for me, I'm gonna kinda go slow because it's kind of a long link. It's a bit.ly link, so it's bit dot ly forward slash the number seven steps dog training because that's the book seven miracle steps to training your dog so bit.ly forward slash seven steps dog training if somebody could type that in for me great thank you guys so much for typing that in and so now uh really quick before i get started and explaining to you um crate placement when you're crate training your dog just so you understand, I am a force-free dog trainer and these are the three pillars of uh, what we're gonna be talking about on all of these videos. Um, force-free dog trainer, so we talk about training in a positive way, so we're uh, positive training with our dog. Eat like a dog, which we'll talk about more in other videos. And treat your dog like you, like you wanna be treated, like you treat yourself. So those are the three pillars that we're gonna be talking about on these Just Ask Jessica videos. But right now, let's get to crate placement with crate training your dog. Thank you guys so much for typing in um, the link. I see a bunch of people typing it in for me. It'll be easier for you to just click that link than typing it in. So I really appreciate that. So crate training your dog is so important. Um, you want them to have a safe place where they know it's just theirs. Um, it's like it's like their own little bedroom. It's a safe place for them to retreat to. It's also really good for uh, if you ever have to board your dog or if you're traveling with your dog, you wanna make sure they're trained um, to understand and to know that that crate situation is a safe place for them. It's a safe place for them to be. Um, my dogs uh, have always known that it, I mean, it's like their bedroom. It's a retreat for them. It's a really happy, wonderful place for them to just go and relax. Um, so just so you can kind of see, I was asked a question actually by a, an old friend of mine, somebody I met when I was 18 years old, um, and we've been friends ever since, and she recently got a dog, and she messaged me, and she said, hey, 
crate training my dog and I don't know where to put my crate. So I figured you guys would be just as interested in learning this too. Um, she said, hey, can I put it in my, should I put it in my living room or should I find, you know, a, a space elsewhere in the apartment or the house that's just really quiet and, and put the crate in there. So there are lots of different options in your home. You have areas that you frequent and you have areas that um, really, um, for lack of a better term, we're just going to call them vacant rooms. You may have beds and things in there like a spare bedroom, but nobody ever goes in there. Now, if you can kind of see, um, my wonderful husband drew these really cute little doggies for me. <laughs> um, these rooms that are vacant or that uh, don't get a lot of interaction, don't have a lot of traction, don't want to set your crates up in these areas because um, we, this is a big no. Don't want to do that. Why? Why do we not want to do that? And and. What we do want to do is put the crate, especially when you're first training your dog, we want to put the crate in an area where you frequent. So if you and your family spend a lot of time in uh, your den or living room, especially in the evenings, that's where you want to put the crate. Because when you're training your dog, um, understand, and this is something we talk about a lot, and I talk about a lot in the seven steps, uh, seven miracle steps uh, to training your dog, which is at bit.ly forward slash seven steps dog training. Go there now and get it. Or actually wait until the training's over, either one. Um, go ahead and get it. We talk about this a lot, but your dog is part of your family. And when you exclude them by putting them in a room that you don't frequent, they're not happy and they're gonna whine and cry. It's exactly what you don't want. You don't wanna teach them that their crate is someplace where um, you know, they're being banished to or, or some sort of punishment because that's not what the crate is for. The crate is a retreat for them and that's how they need to, to feel about the crate. So we want to put the crate in a room where you and your family are gonna be so that they still feel like they are part of the family because they are. So that's what we want to do when we're setting up the crate uh, for your dog and starting to crate train your dog. Now, if you know later on in life you have to put them in a boarding situation, if you go on vacation and you have to um, you know board them with your vet, or if you're just traveling with them and you have a crate in the back of your car because you know you want to be safe when you travel with your pets, especially long distances, then making sure you set up from the get-go, from the very beginning, when you start crate training your dog, you want them to know that this is not a banishment, this is not a punishment, we don't wanna do this. This is a safe, safe space for them and make them feel like they're still part of the family. So keep it in an area where you are going to frequent. So, um, you know, it's just like you and your kids. And I mean, if you think about when you were a kid, when somebody, when your parents said, hey, go to your room, that was a punishment, right? Because you didn't have a TV, you didn't have video games, you didn't have the phone, and it wasn't in your room when you were a kid, if you're anything like me, right? So that was a punishment. You're being banished away from the activity of, and, and, and being involved in and being part of the family. So that was a punishment. That's not what we want to do with our dog when we're training them. We want them to know that that's a safe space for them. So just to summarize, um, and if you guys have any questions before I summarize, if you have any questions, please, please, yes, the dog, the dog here does look sad because they don't want to be banished to another room. <laughs> um, please put your questions in the comments below because that's what I'm here for. And that's what these videos are going to be about. Um, and this is, you know, kind of a new format for us. So go ahead and send your questions. You can put them in the comment box. You can private message me your questions. And that's what we're here for. I'm going to do these live videos to answer all of your questions. And uh, so, so just to summarize, keep your dog part of your family and that includes when you're crate training them so the best place to put a crate when you're crate training your dog is in the areas that you frequent most um, so if you spend your whole evening in the kitchen then put your crate in the kitchen if you and your family spend your whole evening in the den watching tv or playing games or whatever you do then that's where you want to put the crate so guys again um go ahead and get the book i talk a lot about how we train positively and different ways, um, all of the canine commandments on how to train positive with your dog. 
uh, go to bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash seven, the number seven, steps dog training. So go ahead and get that book now. And yeah, again, guys, anything that you have questions about, please leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And, um, you know, this is for every dog out there. We have a big dog, you have a small dog, you have an old dog, you have a young puppy. This applies to every single dog um, out there. They want to be part of the family, your dog included. So with that, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this live video. Um, like it if you like the video and go to my page and make sure you are following my page so you get notifications when I go live and do these live videos, um, especially if you submit a question because you wanna hear the answer to it, right? Um, join the Train Positive group and that is, let's see, Dog Training 201, Train Positive. And I will see you guys in the next video.